Now that I've got the radio working, I'm turning my attention to the cabinet. It's in fairly good condition, so I intend to retain this original finish, but there are some dings here and there. There's some finish loss on top there. It's kind of rough in this area. Well, there's some uh, actual like alligatoring and some of the lacquer is missing. And there's a whole big suction of lacquer missing here, although the dial cover goes over that. It, I should put some lacquer on that to protect the wood. And the decals are in crummy condition. So, first thing I've already started doing is carefully, very, very carefully sanding off the old decals. I've already got them off here and here. I'll continue to do so on these. And I do have some reproduction decals that are uh, a pretty darn good match. They have the correct lettering and the usual Filco gold and black. And I'll also take that Filco off. Replace that. And I'm going to lightly sand the whole cabinet. I've already done this uh, section here. And then I'll put on some new coats of lacquer. I don't think I'll need to touch up any of this. I don't think there are any sections where there's any actual color loss. Well, maybe a little bit down here. A few nicks will touch those up a little bit of stain and then clear coat over them. Black, I think, is also in pretty good shape. As are the sides. Well, maybe a couple little chips here and there. I'll touch those up with some dark lacquer. Same down here. And I'll touch up this. There's usually, they use paint of some sort on these uh, speaker grills on the Filcos from the late 30s, and quite often this chips off. Now, one odd thing I've never encountered before is how the speaker grill is attached. Normally it's held on by the same screws that hold the speaker on here, here, and here. This one, it's actually stapled to the cabinet. So that's going to be a little bit of a challenge to get out, uh, and I really do need to get it out, otherwise it's going to be very difficult to refinish this cabinet. So I guess I'll get a small screwdriver and do my best to get these out without damaging this fragile cardboard form. I managed to sand off all the decals around the controls and now I'm doing a little work on the top. I'm using 320 grit sandpaper, just freehand, just folded it over a bit to give my fingertips a grip. And I'm just lightly sanding to get the worst of the alligatoring out. Just finished off with this side, it's fairly smooth down here. If you're going to do this just, I wouldn't go any coarser than 320 and when you get to the edge don't be aggressive because it's very easy to knock off the edges. So I just kind of pull up just short of the edge. The idea is mainly to get rid of the alligatoring. That's something that happens to lacquer over time as it dries, cures over time. Uh, it uh, can develop cracks and get kind of rough, especially when you've got variations in the veneer with these inlays. Okay, I've finished sanding the top. Now I want to put a little bit of color back into this. There's some areas where there's some finish loss, and I think it'll look better if I get a little color back in there. You know, two basic choices, I can use some stain or Howard's Restore finish. Normally, this would be used for a quick fix if you got blemishes, water rings, and that type of thing. But it actually can add some color back into it too, and then you can put lacquer over this after it dries. So, I'm going to give this a shot first, because I don't really need to do that much, and the stain's a little more aggressive. 
I'm going to apply with a little 4-0 steel wool. And I'll let it sit on here for oh, 5 or 10 minutes and then wipe off the excess and let it dry overnight before continuing. The speaker board actually came out fairly easily. I just used some needle nose pliers and pulled out these little staples. No tears or stretches, but it is quite dirty. Hopefully I can clean that up a little bit. I removed the last traces of the Filco decal and then gave the entire cabinet a light sanding with 320 grit. And then went over the rest of it with a Howard's Restore finish. And now what I'm doing is using some lacquer sanding sealer and a small brush and dabbing lacquer on to fill in various voids and dings and such. Basically I dab on a little bit, wait about an hour, sand it down and we'll continue until it's all nice and flush. Then I'll put on a couple coats of lacquer sanding sealer over the entire cabinet, get that nice and smooth and then I will apply the new decals. This one on the left here is a pretty darn good match for the original, but not with this high fidelity, so I'll have to clip that out. Apply that right up here. And here's a reproduction set for the rest. So we've got the off-on base for this guy. And then we get volume, and then the auto manual shortwave, auto being the preset mode, and finally manual tuning for the far right. It took a few passes, but eventually I was able to fill in all the areas of finish loss and any nicks or dings, so it's all nice and level now. And then I went over the whole thing with a couple coats of sanding sealer, so I just need to do one more pass of light sanding, and then I will try putting on the new decals. My one big fear whenever I'm tr attempting to do something like this is that the lacquer will not stick to the existing finish. The reason that might happen is somebody may have used a silicone-based furniture polish at some point in the set's life. Silicone-based finishes and lacquer do not mix. It's like trying to mix oil and water. The lacquer just will not go over that area. If that ever does happen, you could try putting shellac over it first, which may which has a which can cover up silicone better, and then the lacquer can go on top of the shellac. Or you may just have to strip the whole thing down. And even then, if that silicone got down into the underlying wood, you may never be able to get lacquer to stick to it properly. But, I don't have to worry about that in this case. And after the lacquer, or sorry, after the decals are applied, I will touch up the sides with some extra dark walnut toner lacquer and then start putting on some finish coats. I've got the cabinet to the point where I can apply the new decals, so I'm going to carefully trim out just the ones I need and kind of plan ahead. So the Filco will go here, and then I'll cut out four of these, and I'm going to put a reference line across here uh, so I can get them all to be lined up fairly well. I think it's going to be a little tricky though. I'm used to doing decals that are just horizontal like this, whereas these are curved. So I'm going to have to, I guess, try to match the curve of the opening and can I get it on there? Something like that. 
I've applied the FOCO logo up here. That was fairly easy. Now the slightly more complicated curved decals that go down here. I taped a piece of magnetic wire across here just as a reference line so this is nice and level. I'm going to adjust that as needed so that it's just at the top arc of where all the lettering should be. And then I'll eyeball the curve to make sure that the curve of this is centered over this curve and hopefully that will be enough to get these so they don't uh, or I should say it gets them so that they're all lined up. I've clipped out each of the four decals and I've double checked to make sure that I've got each decal lined up with the right hole. That would be pretty tragic to get these mixed up. Now I need to trim these a little bit more because I've cut them out as a rectangular block and if I try to put that on here there's going to be the bottom part here that's going to go over the opening so I need to cut out in an arc this bit down here. Or I could try applying a decal as a rectangle and just let it cover over that hole and then after the decal dries trim it out, but I'm afraid it might tear if I do that. So I'm going to get a sharp uh, blade here and just carefully trim this section out here on each of these. I decided to go with the mode switch as the first one I put down because it happens to have some radial lines that come out and just touch right on the opening there. And the height of that I will use now as a reference for the other three. So I think that's centered and level pretty much. Maybe it needs to go to the left just a tad. Well, this is still damp, it's fairly easy to move around. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. And this one I did leave a little bit of the decal hanging below. It's just too hard to trim with these lines coming down so it dries. I will carefully use a razor blade and trim that excess away. All right, I got all four decals on. And I think they're pretty much centered over those openings and level. Now I'll just have to let those dry up for a few hours, maybe overnight just to be safe, and then I'll start spraying some clear lacquer over them. Which brings me to what I think will be the last major task, which is this bezel. That goes on like so. When I got this it was pretty tarnished looking, discolored looking and I eventually discovered that this is actually brass that's been painted. I cleaned off all the remnants of the old paint, got it down to bare brass and polished it up and I thought maybe I would just go with that but it really doesn't look right, it's far too coppery looking. So I then primed it and sprayed it with this metallic brass paint which looks okay but I didn't do a very good job, it's rough and, and uneven in spots so I am going to try to strip this off and then paint it again and try to do a better job this time around. The main problem was the primer I used. It just didn't uh, dry that flat. It was kind of a rough primer and I sanded it in areas and then put the brass paint over it but it's rough down in the grooved areas where I couldn't sand and it's just not that even looking. So. I think I can do better. I've got some better primer and better metallic paints this time around. I 
I think this is a good time to pause the video. I'll pick up in the next segment when I start putting uh, the final coats of clear gloss on this and hopefully have the paint stripped off of that brass bezel.